Welcome to Home Garden in the Kitchen. Today I want to share with you a quick fish recipe that is full of flavor. Ginger crusted fish over vinegar rice. First, let's start with our rice. We need one and a half cups of uncooked short grain brown rice or brown sushi rice. Be sure to rinse your rice very well. This will help pull away some of the excess starch that's around each rice grain and help your product at the end to not be mushy. So cook your brown rice according to your package directions. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna get started on our flavor additions to the rice. So first we need two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of sugar to that and then half a teaspoon of salt. And just give that a little bit of a mix. And we're gonna set it aside and let that vinegar really break down the sugar and the salt for us. So when we add it to the rice, everything gets dissolved really nicely. Also, we're gonna start on our green onions. So we need eight green onions chopped up I like to take the, the bottoms off of your green onion, and for this dish, I'm gonna actually do it at an angle, give it kind of a pretty presentation at the end. So with a firm claw around your knife and your fingers tucked back, we're gonna kind of chop off that end, and then just cutting your green onion at an angle. And we do wanna use both the green and the white parts. So I'm gonna add this green onion to our others. Again, we have eight green onions chopped, and then in a hot skillet over medium, medium high heat, I have one teaspoon of canola oil. And we're going to put our green onions in and cook them until they are charred and caramelized. Should take about eight to 10 minutes. Next, let's start working on our ginger crusted fish. First, we need a two inch piece of ginger. Your thumb is about an inch. So that's a good guide when you're looking for ginger. We want to peel this, so you have a peeler handy, that's perfect. If you don't have a peeler handy, you can always use a spoon. So using the inside of your spoon, you can pull the ginger towards you, and the skin just comes right off. We want to grate this ginger, so I'm going to get a bowl out and a microplane. The grating the ginger really helps to ensure that the fish is evenly covered with ginger. To this, we wanna add two tablespoons of canola oil. I suggest measuring out your oil since we can be a little heavy handed otherwise. So two tablespoons canola oil and then salt and pepper. Just give that a bit of a mix and then we will get our fish. Today I'm using North Carolina bass. It's a really great firm white fish. Any other firm white fish would work here like cod or flounder, whatever you like. So I'm gonna put the fish into the ginger mixture and you wanna really mix all of this together, making sure that ginger is on every piece of fish. Great, so my fish is all coated with the ginger, canola oil, and salt. To the same skill I used earlier, just wiped it out with a paper towel. I have one tablespoon of canola oil on medium, medium high heat. We wanna add the fish. The key here is we don't want to touch it for at least five minutes. We really want that crust to form on the fish and it won't form very well if we're moving it around a lot. So put your fish in the pan and then don't touch it. So it's been about five minutes. It's time to flip our fish. You wanna come in here and when the fish moves well and it releases from the pan, you know that it's ready. So really carefully, Flip your fish, and that is a perfect crust. Our fish has finished cooking. I'm just letting it cool off for a moment off to the side. And then last step we wanna do is with our rice. So the rice has cooked, it's still warm. Just fluffing it here with a fork. And now we wanna add the flavors that we made earlier. So the vinegar with sugar and salt. Pour that into the warm rice is really helpful. If there's any sugar or salt that did not dissolve, the warm rice will help to really break it down. Also, warm rice absorbs more flavor than cold rice. So do this step while it's still warm. We have our charred green onions from earlier. I'm gonna add those into the rice as well. Smells really delicious. That vinegar really comes out with the warm rice. 
And then those charred green onions have this depth of flavor to them, a little caramelized, really delicious. So this will feed four people. So divide your rice into fourths and, and then each person gets a piece of fish. The crust is perfect on this fish. Looks delicious. That ginger really baking in to the fish. This would be a perfect weeknight dinner if you're trying to add more fish to your diet. Hope you enjoy.